Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief Deadly Shadows. I... I already uploaded a couple of videos earlier, but... I'm right at the very end of this game, so I just want to finish it off. Figured I would finish it up today, and then tomorrow I will be working on trying to get the fourth one to record properly. Because as of so far, I'm unable to record the fourth one without significant lag and slowdown due to, well, due to the fact that my computer can't handle it. <laughs> Too much of a strain on my computer. But our objectives are to place the heart on the Bradshaw Monument in the Aldale Plaza, place the chalice on the Cataclysm Memorial in Fort Ironwood, place the paw on the first landing marker in the docks, place the crown in the storage area at the base of the clock tower in Stone Market proper, and lastly we have to place the eye on the fountain in South Quarter. easier than I expected it to be. So I'm going to head this way. I'm going to quick save because... Well, because oh, here Hammer likes a man fool. Hey. What? Hey, watch yes. out! Why did I go this way? Oh. I'm just a little bit faster than them, so I'm able to back step and I'm able to hit them and back step before they hit me if I'm careful about it. Not exactly the best strategy, but it works. I mean, I would much rather get an attack from behind so they die in one hit, but. I'll take what I can get. But now, we have to be careful up here. You can control me, use me, shape me, but <laughs> I am. Because there is the cave, they are all too or Gamal, whatever you want to call her. Here down, place the to go. And she will be guarding each and every place that we have to place one of these artifacts. Find, discover, root him out, and then he will regret ever seeing, crossing, fighting you. Something is here, taunts me, mocks me, and will die! I will find you, and I will make of you very small, very bloody, very red bits. Jeez, it's a little violent, don't you think? And I don't know why I'm picking up this loot, because there's no point in picking it up since all I have to do is place these artifacts and that's it, then I'm done. <laughs> I 
there's no extra mission after there's no more missions afterwards or anything, so He's got it out for me. Thinks I dunno it, but I do. I got it all written down. <laughs> well I would if, if I even knew how to write. These things are annoying. <gasps> Take cover! These statues are so annoying. Don't let it get me. How beastly! Die, you monster! You don't expect me to fight you? No. What will give you that idea? What's this? Oh, I was hoping he would kill this thing. symbols something to do with the hammerites I think because I think I saw a hammer in the middle of it but I have to go in here and get to the I probably came in from the wrong side I should have come in from the other side if I wanted to get to that monument but did they cry? Your quasi-brethren, did they scream, do not do this thing, it will destroy us all? I suppose that's what they must believe, and I suppose they are right. Did they cry? And I'm pretty sure they used the wrong form of your in there. Yeah, I should have come from the other side. Great. Can I sneak past her? Probably not. That was way too close for comfort. That's two of them, but I still have three of these artifacts to position. direction. This is a bit too close for comfort in some of these some of these situations. But now I'm gonna head to the docks. Yeah, I think I'll go to the docks next because I can get to those from here. From old quarter and then I will head to Stone Market, and then I will go to South Quarter. What? Where did that? Builder Crusty, Pagan Wretch, for the Builder! <sighs> Tis done then, and I live to fight another day. 
where I fight the pig and when there's these statues all over the place. They're much more deserving of your attention. Heading into the docks now. Statue just killed a guard. So many people are dying. But where's Kamal? I have to get to that. Hey, 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 hey. Why did you did you not spot me? Too long. <laughs> okay, now you saw me. That's not good. Did you get stuck? Ah, so far, so good. Now there's only two artifacts left to place. South Quarter to get to Storm Market. Because I don't believe there's a way to Storm Market from the docks. Actually, I can go this way through Old Quarter to get to Storm Market. I'm not going to need it. Okay. Now we gotta go this way towards Stone Market. And hopefully, I don't run into any more. Right. What are you doing here? I'm going to tell the guards. It's the worst night because you found a body. And we gotta head to the clock tower. This part's just a bit tedious having to run to each section of the town. We share flesh and blood. Hey, be careful! 
It is through your eye that I see. Painful, was it not? To lose it. But that's why you are the one. Only you are attuned to me. And only I can initiate. Safe. Come out. Come out before I use as a spell to make you come out. A monster! save just in case it happens to be right outside the door like that <laughs> gonna wait for her to head back that way and then I'll run by and go to the front tower <laughs> Sorry you had to die, but Pour the fire for us. I can't stop now. <laughs> you trouble me no longer. <laughs> now, all that's left is to go over to the south quarter and the fountain that's right in front of Garrett's building. Now, before I do this, I want to bring up a couple of things that have been mentioned throughout the the game. There's one has been mentioned quite a lot recently, which is the last of all glyphs, and it's a failsafe in case something like this happens. Then there's also there have been references to someone who has been called the one true keeper and there may be a couple of other things but I will talk about them after after I do what I need to do here but those are the two main things that I wanted to mention here because those will be relevant in just a few minutes here Does something useful. Don't believe me, it will. see another glyph again it'll be too soon
back. Back with you. <laughs> old. Oh, so old. I'll ruin. <laughs> I'm assuming those keepers. Did you see that? Never noticed it before. How could a building just goblin is at the very stroke of me? Does that look like gold to you there? Hidden the hurry to find someone else. Someone at the window. They've all gone. What will we do? What will become of the city without us? have disappeared. That's what the failsafe was. It completely wipes out every other cliff. Hence, I'm assuming the prophecy referring to the unwritten times, which is because no more glyphs, nothing to nothing to describe the prophecies anymore, so the times were unwritten. Returned his charas to us. Then Jack knows paw. It becomes he back to us. thing to see a keeper, especially one who does not wish to be seen. That was basically the beginning of the first game, was when Garrett was a young boy and he tried to steal from a keeper. That was basically exactly what happened there. So it kind of came full circle and now Garrett's the keeper. And the reason I brought up the one true keeper, my understanding of the ending is the glyphs were all destroyed and the one true keeper who was referred to my understanding was Garrett all along. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just, that's the way I interpreted the ending. And, well... That's about all I have to say at the moment. I mean... It was, it was a pretty, the games were pretty damn good. Good story, in my opinion. I'm not really sure what to say about it. going to be starting the fourth game within the next couple of days if I'm able to if I'm able to get them get the game to play without too much of a slowdown while I'm recording it because the fourth game just came out in 2014 high-end graphics causes a lot more strain on the computer while you're playing it and my computer can't exactly handle it very well so hopefully I will be able to find a way to 
it will most likely end up being I will reduce the quality of the videos and hopefully I'll be able to work something out because if I can't work a, work out a way to record it without too much too many slowdowns I will end up just having to hold off until I get a new computer which could take a long time so hopefully I'll be able to start the fourth game because I would I've been really looking forward to getting into that one and in that one is where I'm going to um, I'm going to go for an extremely hard difficulty. In the fourth game, you're able to set your own custom difficulty, and you can set the base difficulty to to one of the normal four. I believe there's four. There's I can't remember all of them. I want to say there's rogue. I can't remember them all, but I know the, the last one is Master, and that's the custom, when I make my custom difficulty, I'm going to be basing it on Master difficulty. And then you have the options to turn on certain features to make it more difficult for you. And I'm going to be turning on all but two of them, I believe. So, makes it quite difficult. But yeah, that's something that I can hopefully start maybe even tomorrow. But we will see. Since I don't really know what to talk about now, I'll just kind of let the credits roll. There we go. So that was Thief Deadly Shadows. Honestly, I I really liked that one, but to be completely honest, as much as I like the first three games, the fourth one would have to be my absolute favorite. But I guess that's that's it so thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed and as always i will see you in the next episode goodbye